that's funny. I've never actually asked you what you what you think about globe versus plane. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm uh, undecided. I think same, except except I can see how the idea of having a globe, you know, there's an argument that that was created to lead us astray from the Bible. But when you think about how Christianity declined in the West, why? Why? And, and I don't know the answer to that question, but I reckon a lot of that science that happens in the 14th century in the Renaissance period has some importance to it, because then obviously you've got the Enlightenment and then you've got, I don't know, but I could see how that was part of a movement to lead us away from theology towards science which i'm not discrediting science but of course now science is used as this term that has really become a kind of a an ideological religious movement which yeah. centers around atheism yes and probably atheism. ultimately satan worshiping um, yeah albert camus wrote a book called the myth of sisyphus and um, he was attacking the problem of life's meaning. Interestingly, he says on the second page, I have never seen anyone die for the ontological argument. Whether the earth or the sun revolves around the other is a matter of profound indifference, to tell the truth. It is a futile question. On the other hand, I see many people die because they judge that life is not worth living. If if life is just absurd, you know, we came into existence off the Big Bang, it's just a, you know, random chaos, then what is the point of being here? Um, and, you know, Albert Camus found that that was, you know, the most important question because life's pointless. Why not kill yourself? Um, and if there is a point, you know, let, let's talk about it and find it. Um, if the Earth was created as a stationary plane, then... You know, there is uh, a larger picture that we fit into. But if we are mm. a ball spinning uh, out of control in a ever-expanding, meaningless void that will eventually end in the cool death of the universe where everything is dark and cold and meaningless and, you know, every major event that happened in history is just a blip of uh, no importance in a journey towards nothing, then how could you ever, you know, what what is the point? So, so he's basically saying, why are you asking such a stupid question? There are more important things to to think about. Yeah, I think the questions do complement each other because it's it's metaphysics. <laughs> but um, yeah, and they they connect with each other. But yeah, well, one of the most important the most important questions is meaning, and you know that that comes from the foundations of was the world created or did it just you know come from nothing? 